Hi, my name is Eric Schertzinger, and this is the first of hopefully many computer science related videos. While I'm not an expert, I do study computer engineering at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, but if I make a mistake, please just let me know. Um, I'd love to learn from it. In this video, we're going to look at an optimization algorithm called simulated annealing. And to understand what this does, we need to know what an optimization problem is. An optimization problem is one that has many solutions, and each solution has a different score. Our goal is to find the best score. This could be finding the shortest possible route for a paper boy if he must visit all the homes, or in our example, finding the highest point on a hill. Each of these examples has two common elements, the states and the scores. The states could be the order of the homes the boy decides to visit, or the current position on the hill. And the scores could be the length of the paper boy's route or the height of the hill. For large problems, we can't possibly hope to check all the states. That would take far too long. So instead, each state has a set of successors or neighbors. And these are the states that can be reached from the current state. In our example, we'll define a neighbor to be the position to the left and to the right of the ball on the hill. On first attempt at trying to solve our hill problem, find the tallest point on the hill, you might assume it'd be easiest to just check the left neighbor and the right neighbor. If one of those two is higher or has a better score, just take that neighbor, move to that state, or in our example, move to that position on the hill, and then repeat. Look at the left neighbor, right neighbor, whichever one's higher, take that state. This is known as the hill climbing algorithm. Let's give it a shot on our hill. It works. However, what happens if our hill has multiple humps? Let's give that a shot. You see that the ball gets stuck on these little ridges. These are called local maxima. What's happening here is the ball reaches the top of that little hill and sees that its left neighbor and right neighbor are both worse than its current height. It gets stuck at these local maxima, so we're not finding the highest point on the hill. How can we fix this? We must devise a way to select a worse neighbor in hopes that we can eventually reach the global maxima, or at least a higher point. There are many ways to do this, but almost all involve selecting a worse neighbor with a certain probability. In this video, we will be examining the simulated annealing method. This method is based off of the real life process of annealing. Annealing is when you take a molten hot metal and you cool it down slowly in order for it to reach its most stable form. You can imagine if you had a boiling hot metal and you froze it immediately, it would have a bunch of air bubbles and inconsistencies. However, if you allow that metal to cool and settle down, it'll reach a very stable, flat state. We see our probability is based on two factors, a value called loss and a temperature. The loss is simply a measure of how much worse a neighboring state is compared to the current state. And the temperature is just that, a value to represent the current temperature. Looking at the formula, we can see that with a higher loss or a greater difference, we're going to have a worse probability of taking that state. If the state has a similar height, it'll have a much higher probability. And looking at the temperature, we see that the higher the temperature, the greater the probability of taking that state will be. So if we start with a very high temperature, our probability is essentially one. We will call repeated iterations on this check, but each time with a slightly lower temperature. Let's see this in action. I also want to add, in order to make this work visually, I have increased the number of neighbors to the left and to the right of the current state. Theoretically, with a very high temperature and infinitely slow cooling rate, we will always find the global maxima our ball will be able to bounce all around the state space and eventually settle in at the top. Feel free to download the code from my GitHub and try out different temperatures and cooling rates yourself. And let me know what you thought of this video. Thanks for watching. 